Yeah. Uh, back up in this little thing. Tomorrow with Chanel Bosch. Hi, Chanel. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having Red Carpet Fly Out. We really are excited to see your movie. And uh, yeah, we're just super stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about Tomorrow and what the movie is about. Tomorrow is a silent short film. Um, it's about fear and overcoming fear and just really having to take that time in your life to decide whether or not you want to move forward or stay stuck where you are. Okay, so I was watching the trailer and it kind of seems like there's a little bit of love mix in it. Is that true or like, you know? There is a little bit of love in it. What's really awesome about the film is that since it's silent, you can really take away so many different things from it. And our goal with the film is to evoke emotion. So if it makes you feel anything, some people might feel like it's about love, some people might feel like it's about uh, fear or taking leaps of faith. It really depends on what the viewer wants to take from it. Now, what do you want the viewers to kind of take away overall from, the, from this movie? Overall, I want the viewers to take away the idea um, that there's no need for fear in life, that you can make the choice, you're in control of everything that affects your life, and you can make the choice to either sit and be stuck or to move forward, so it's all up to you. Okay, and just tell us a little bit about the Connect and the, this whole experience here. The Connect is a collaborative art event. Um, it's designed to bring together artists from across all mediums, whether it's visual art, dance, music, film, whatever it is, um, and just give them a platform where they can showcase their work. Okay. So I'm here with Jay Carter, the, the actor from Tomorrow. Hi Jay, thank you for uh, speaking with Red Carpet Fly, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Now tell me, what is your interpretation of the movie? What do you think that movie means? Uh, what, what I got from it basically is like, it's like basically uh, a woman's developing taking the next step in life and the relationship that she has with her person is basically like a metaphor for that you know moving on taking the next step trying to you know release your fears and everything like that because there's a lot of metaphors for fear and being scared to you know move on and do that but I think it's uh, the example that we set forward and just like you know moving forward and taking a chance because sometimes you have to take a leap and you know and not be scared of drowning, you know, and just go for it, which is beautiful. And like, the move, the movie's like a dream, you know, that's what I tell everybody, it's like a dream sequence. It's like, you're dreaming about the person, and like, I love watching it because I believe the relationship, you know what I mean? And I want that. I want what I had on screen to be in life, you know? Right. You guys had really good chemistry. Now, it, when I was looking at this short trailer, it looked like it was very organic. Was it a very organic connection? I, I think so. You know what, me and Chanel, we really just like, we filled each other out, and like that's what I'm saying. Like I was saying, like I believe it. You know, like when I can watch it and smile at us laughing because I think that's like me and my girl laughing. You know, like I I love it. So like it, Chanel's Chanel's, she's a beautiful artist, and you know, how can you not fall in love with her? So maybe I was in love with her already. You know. Right, right. Now, tell me, what do you want the audience to take away from this movie? Uh, I guess I'd say. Just life in general, just um, how we all like develop these things and we're like worried about, you know, what are we going to do or where's our next paycheck coming from? All these things that make us so scared in life. I want people to see that like, you know, it's okay to like move on and move forward with things. And I think they will get that from this because it's all about taking the next step, moving forward and getting, you know, letting go, you know, of everything and just taking a leap of faith. Okay. What other projects are you working on? Um, actually, I, uh, I'm in the middle of releasing my first EP. I'm a musician okay. as well, so okay. I just released, I released my first EP. I'm also a dancer. I taught dance. I was a dance teacher for a couple years. I mean, as an artist, you kind of just kind of got to do everything because right, that's what LA and the, just the industry expects from you. So right. you have to do that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tell me a little bit about your connection with the Connect. 
my, my connection with the Connect is basically it's just it's artists coming together. You know, like it's basically exactly what it says. It's the Connect. It's like artists coming to support other artists, and that's what we should all do. It's young entrepreneurs and everything. It's like 2015 is a new year, and there's a lot of different things happening in the industry with whatever you know, with race and everything. It's a nice. It's beautiful to be able to come together and not judge people, just accept it for what it is, which is art, and that's what we're all here to do. Well, thank you so much. You've been wonderful thank to you. interview, and thank you. Thank you. Taxes up in trouble, that's the only thing to serve Overcome the struggle, look until they come to curtain. Fuckers keep me hot, you wouldn't need it. I can't help it. Eyes open, why ain't looking at it? G4, that's a risk. I got $20, man.